Our in-depth coverage continues now on what has been a rough few days for Rhode Island businesses. Flexion's announcement that it was closing its Smithfield plant came just days after Benny's announced it was closing all of its stores. So we wanted to know how some other well-known Rhode Island businesses are doing right now. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke to executives at Dell's and Newport Creamery today. She joins us now with what she's learned. Kim. Well, Mike and Caroline, after Benny's announced that they would be closing their stores, many people took to social media to express concern about the health of other beloved Rhode Island institutions. So I went to some of them today and asked, how's business? If you know what it means to stop at the sign of the lemon or the golden cow, you're probably from Rhode Island. The, the small little companies need to stay in Rhode Island. And, I, you know, I hope that we don't see more of them starting to falter. Dell's Lemonade Executive Vice President Joseph Padula shocked to hear about Benny's closing, thinking maybe another Rhode Island retailer job lot could slide into their stores. You might see them take over some of these Benny's locations, their bigger stores, some of them, and move some of their operations. Dell's is set to celebrate 70 years in business in 2018. Like Newport Creamery, owners say it isn't going anywhere. We've had to continually evolve the brand through the changing marketplace of the restaurant business and Rhode Island economics. William Janikes is president of Newport Creamery, the ice cream parlor saved from bankruptcy by his family in 2001. Because it was a great brand and it was part of the fabric of Rhode Island. The home of the awful awful set to celebrate 90 years next year. Padula and Janikis agree it's locally owned stores like theirs that give people a sense of place. I went here with my siblings and my parents and had an awful awful of big beef. We love it. It's here to stay for today, tomorrow and generations to come. And as we reported yesterday, a spokesman for Benny says there could be news in the coming weeks about the future of their 31 storefronts. Exactly what that news will be, we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.